Hey, what's going on, y'all? So let me see if I can get some intuitive messages for y'all tonight before I take it to bed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please use the spirit of mm, the spirit of discernment. Flip these roles as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest. Thank you for hitting that like button, y'all. I definitely appreciate your support. Go over to my YouTube, subscribe. If you're on my YouTube already, subscribe. You already know what to do, fools. Thank you so much. And also, um, if you want a personal reading, go to my website. The link is also in my bio, all right? So the world card comes out in an upright position. And what I'm saying here is that when it comes to your efforts paying off right now, yeah, you may feel kind of incomplete, okay? Because the Five of Cups is coming out here in the upright position. You're focusing on spilled milk. You're focusing on your loss, okay? So yeah, you need to turn around because there's still blessings. The universe is abundant. One door closes, another one opens. These spilled cups, they don't serve you no more, boom. Okay, so what's happening here? <clears throat> Why my collective feel like this? What's happening? I'm hearing it's time for you to pay attention to your intuition. Okay, the Knight of Wands comes out in the reverse. It's like you're trying to pursue your goals, and there's challenges. Okay, so when that Knight of Wands is in the reverse, sometimes they, they have a hard time staying committed to a particular goal. And what I'm hearing, this is about your choices and it's about your commitment level. All right, here with the Nine of Swords here in the reverse position and the Three of Swords upright. Okay, so it's time for you to heal or, or you may need to get some support from some people or be transparent in what you're feeling because you are really going through something. Okay, again, Seven of Cups comes out, but it's in the reverse position. It's about your choices is what I'm hearing. And I feel like you may be prone to illusions or you may choose wrong or this ain't your energy to somebody connected to you. And because of those choices, it has led to some type of loss or grief. Okay, so you got to pay attention to your intuition. Allow your higher self to guide you when making these choices, because as you can see, what's in the cups right if you are in your lower self and you may be looking at riches and you want nice fancy things and big cars and you know you don't have enough money to afford that lifestyle you and you still pick this cup that's a bad choice right so if you pick a karmic over someone who actually you know where there's love and it can flourish but you pick the karmic energy which is the snake because they look good, that's the wrong choice, right? So you got to listen and pay attention to your intuition when doing so. Or, you know, whoever this person is here in your story, if this ain't you, that's that's been the problem. There are options, okay? And what I'm seeing here, mm -hmm, it's time to take a, a chance. The full card comes out. It's time to take some type of leap of faith here and trust that the universe is going to catch you straight like that. Um, somebody could be doing that right now, really thinking like, okay, I'm ready for a new beginning for myself because I literally have been choosing wrong. All right. I do feel like somebody has been doing like a lot of self-reflecting, but overall, like when it comes to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here with this nine of pentacles. I do sense that someone is working on their self-sufficiency, but in order to move ahead, you literally have to change your perspective here. The hangman comes in a reverse. Like if you're stalling or something, or if you are disinterested, it could be about your perspective. Okay. So your uncertainty, that's where it's coming from. It's like a mindset is what I'm hearing. You have a lot of options. I do understand that, but... You got to be careful with those options because it seems to me that the options that you choose have been leading to loss, to grief, to hardship, okay? So tell me about this fool card. And what I'm hearing is like, take a chance, you know? Don't you want to be able to move forward without having to worry or have having to pay for something that... You know, you may have not have had to do pay for if you have only made like a better choice, you know. I mean, I get it. Sometimes I make some bad choices myself too. And I'd be like, what? How? 
Why did I get myself into this shit? If only, if only. <laughs> I traded in my car about two or three years ago. I had an Avalon and I traded it in for a newer, a newer car, but it ended up being like a Nissan or something. And now I'm like, I could have kept my other car. Like I had a fully loaded, you know, car, but I switch out my cars like every three years. And then this car started needing some work and in a state of panic and having frustrations financially, I made this choice to come out of the car it ended up putting me in more and more trouble, okay? Um, financially, really. So it is it really is. Sometimes we do stuff out of impulse, but with the page of wands coming up, once you learn, you know, you do better. But what I'm hearing is like you gotta see from a higher perspective. You have to make your choices from a higher perspective. I know right now it's like you wanna begin or start something new here. But I'm seeing here, you know, take a look at the bigger picture here. And you're fearful about starting this because, you know, in the past you may have made those bad choices. But this isn't a bad choice is what I'm hearing. The wild card. This is going to actually help you to achieve your goals. Whatever this decision is that you are afraid to make is going to actually get you where you want to go. It's like... You get to your, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to laugh at you or if this is you feeling like this or whoever, your person, it's like finally you get to the point where you, you connect with something or someone that's healthy, that can actually flourish, that can actually help you to achieve your goals and then now want to be thinking about what to do. <laughs> is this going to be risky? But I get it. Want to know why I say that? Because we're so used to toxicity that it becomes normal. Toxicity seems to be healthy and healthy seems to be toxic. So when a healthy situation comes along, it's almost as if something is wrong here. Something got to be wrong here. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. This world card with the hang one coming out in the reverse. I'm sorry. Upright. It's about perspective. Either you were hanging, left hanging, or you, or you left someone hanging. Yep, the emperor comes out in the reverse. It's a masculine energy. And what I'm seeing is that at this time, this masculine energy was operating from their lower self, not, not discipline, lack structure, wasn't really trying to pursue a particular goal here, especially when if it comes to relationships or if it comes to a particular career, whatever this may be, you know, that just wasn't, they wasn't disciplined enough yet, okay? But here with the Three of Swords, they may have broke your heart if you are the feminine of my collective, but I'm also seeing that this masculine's heart is also broken too. And this is why this person has made these choices. It came from a hurt place. Mm-hmm. It's some healing that needs to take place. The two of wands comes out in the upright position next to the ace of swords. But when it comes to you looking to the future to be successful, to want to see your efforts paid off in certain areas of your life, to resolve whatever the obstacles are, it requires making right choices. I'm feeling like, you know, someone in my collective has done a lot of underhanded stuff or done, done things through deception or unorthodox, basically. And what you're being guided to do is now channel your energy in the right direction, okay? Start coming with truth and clarity and understanding. That's how you walk into this new beginning. That's what you're being taught, okay? This is how you get the breakthroughs that you're looking for. By channeling your energy in the right direction to make better choices. Let your losses be a lesson to you. And that's it. And you leave everything else behind. And you begin to realize what the universe is still offering you. Okay, so you heard it. I ain't coming for you. But I'm trying to guide you and teach you into a better life. Okay, this, the world. All of your wish fulfillments, your achievements paying off, your goals, you buying a house, you getting married, you graduating from school, whatever it may be, okay? So close out the cycle, boom. Peace.